let's take a look at our first problem. Uh, it's given us uh, some data and it wants us to uh, find um, the mean, median, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, sample variance, population variance, and mode. So let's enter our numbers in first. So I'm going to press my stat button, go into edit. So you do enter on edit. If you got numbers here, you can up arrow and press your clear, and then enter to clear out that list. Uh, don't press delete, or you have to add it back in. And uh, we want to put in uh, 33, so 33, enter. 51 enter, 73 enter, 81 enter, 83 enter, 91 enter, 103 enter, 117 enter, 132 enter, 141 enter, 152 enter, 1 81 enter, 185 enter, 189 enter, 192 enter, and there I screwed it up so we do an up arrow, 192 enter, 198 enter, just did it again, 198 enter, there we go, 205, 305, 305, 710, 715, 715, and 715. Now I'm going to um, check this because I'm really bad about entering numbers in wrong. Let's see, I got three 715s, that's right. 710, 305, another 305, and a 205. 198, 51 and 33. Okay. All looks right. So now I'll do a second mode to exit out. And um, I'll clear those. Now we'll press the uh, stat button. Right arrow to calc. And we want to choose one of our stats. So I'll press enter on that. Now you have to make sure you put your numbers into L1. If you put them in another list, you need to put that list down. So like if I put them in L2, I need to do second 2 to put the L2 up there. Or second three for L3, second four for L4. But again, if you just do enter on one of our stats, it assumes L1. Okay, so let's uh, write down what we're given. What are we asking for? Mean. Now, sample mean or population mean is the same, same thing on the, the calculator and by hand. And two decimal places would be 200 and 46 point um, 61. Second thing it's asking for is a median. I'll label it as M. Median. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my calculator and you see there's an arrow on the far, far left here, bottom left. Um, so I'm going to press my down arrow key to scroll down. It says median is 181. Well, next thing we need is sample standard deviation and then population standard deviation. Well, here's sample standard deviation and here's population standard deviation. Well, um, I need to scroll back up, so I'm going to do an up arrow. Now, if you type anything else be, um, after you do the arrows, like you type any numbers, you have to redo the, the whole thing. I mean, you don't have to re-enter the numbers. But, uh, S is 229 point and then it'd be 75. Sigma is our population standard deviation which is 224.70 uh, or 7. Okay. Then they want sample variance and population variance. Sample variance is S squared and population variance is Sigma squared. Well, um, 
So we've done our one var stats. If you've done your one var stats, you can go into your vars button, choose statistics, so I'll choose number five, the number in front of it, and I can choose the SX, choose number three, and it'll put SX on my screen, and I push my X squared key and press enter, and that'll give us our sample variance. So that's 52,787.16. Now to get our population variance, I'm going to go back in my VARS button again. I'm going to choose statistics, so I'll choose number five. I want to choose sigma, which is our fourth one. And then I'll push my X squared and enter. And so population variance will be 50,492.06. Um, my eyes aren't failing me, which they are. But um, Last thing, mode. Now mode you can't find via the calculator. You have to do this by hand. Now mode is the value that occurs the most often. And most of these don't just occur one time. Uh, we get down here to the end, 305 occurs twice, but 715 occurs three times. So our mode is going to be 715. And that would be our, our answer for that particular problem.